It's another jet drive. And you just, you know me, driving to my sessions. Uh, I'm driving to a session that I can't tell you about. But um, I, can, uh, I can talk about other things, though. I like to just give you as much information as I can about me, my life, my career, and such. You know, one thing that I've been thinking about a lot is in some of the vlogs I've been doing, I've, I've been talking about voiceover and the popularity of it and how sometimes it's, it's hard. When you're a voice actor, it's really hard because everybody wants your job. And it's just true. Every, everybody. I have had from, you know, people where I'm you know, buying a house or buying a car where you do loan docs and they see what you do for a living and then they, they go, oh, voiceover, you know, I could do that or I always wanted to do that or people always told me I had a good voice or, you know, you're at the doctor or you're even at church. Uh, a pastor, I've had pastors more than one voiceover. I always wanted to get into that. Yeah. How do you do that? I mean, from the grocery store line to at parties to your doctor or pastor or whatever, everybody, everybody, 99.9% of the population seems to want my job. And it's just not the case with most other jobs. On one hand, you can be very flattered by it. On the other hand, sometimes it's, uh, it kind of hurts your feelings because, and you have to have thick skin about it. You have to understand that people are just excited and they want to do it. But what, sometimes what it sounds like they're saying, what it sounds like they're saying, what it feels like they're saying is, well, you got to do that. I should be able to do that. And what you do is really no big deal. Anybody can do it. I want to do that. Let me do that. And why should you get the opportunity to do that. And it's like, well, because I've studied my whole life to be a voice actor. You know, I mean, that is not the case for everybody. It certainly is not. Uh, a lot of very famous voice actors, well-known voice actors, very good voice actors started as actors. Some started as writers or directors or producers or, you know, uh, engineers, uh, copywriters, things like that. And then they found voiceover and they, they really took to it. And, and, and that's great. I, since I was four years old, have wanted to do voices for things and be a actor that acts with my voice. So when everybody wants your job, it kind of, it negates a little of who you are and what you do. And it makes you kind of feel like, geez, you know, like I would never think of saying to somebody else, a musician friend of mine or a, a, a a famous on-camera actor or something. You know, I could do what you do, or I'd like to do that. How do I get into that? You should have me do that. Uh, give me your agent's name so I can do that. I just, I would never think of that. And I look at the talent that it takes to do it, like like a musician. You know, Sam Witwer mentioned this in the uh, Clone Wars conversations, you know. That those things, eh, you know, nobody would ever think of saying that to somebody. And it's a great point. It's a point that I've been making for years, and I was glad he brought it up. Um, but it kind of negates us when everybody wants our job. So that part is, um, that part sometimes is kind of hurtful and kind of hard to deal with because you just want to love your job. And, and I am so grateful for what I do and so happy to do it. But I also do have to recognize that it, it's taken a long time and a lot of hard work and a lot of study and a lot of ups and downs and losing my voice from getting sick from toxic mold and then regaining my voice and training and working to so I could keep it so I could continue doing what I do and that takes a lot of work and when everybody just kind of goes oh voiceover I want to do that how do I do that how do I do that how do I get your job it's just like so for those of you that want to be voice actors I'm just telling you this is what you are in for and for those of you that want to be voice actors for the wrong reasons it's not a great way to just make a bunch of money and be famous it's not great to just do it on the side because you think you have this great voice and all this if you're not if you don't have a passion for it okay do it for the passion of it actors generally act for the passion of acting but kind of everybody wants to be a voice actor now because they think it's this kind of easy quick money uh, work from home kind of thing and, and that's not what it is it's not it's it's not a sales job in that regard it's not 
just like something you pick up as a uh, you know a new thing a new career path because well people always told you you had a good voice you have to know what you're doing it you you have to know what you're doing so I don't say that to be mean to anybody. I don't say that to discourage anybody because I think that most of you that are watching this have a passion for voiceover. If you have a passion for voiceover, do it, pursue it, you know, love it. But if you don't, let the people that are good at it be voice actors, okay? Um, you know, Voices.com, Voice123, all of those things, they've, they've really watered down the market and they've made it very hard for voice actors myself and all my peers to make the same living we used to make. You go, yeah, well, you guys all make a bunch of money anyways. That's not true. That's not true. We make a living one day at a time, and every day we wake up, we don't know if we have a job or not. And you audition, and you audition, and you audition, and you audition, and you audition. And it used to be you audition, you audition, you audition, you get a job. You audition, you audition, you get a job. Now it's you audition, you audition, you audition, you audition, and so on, so on, so on. I mean, what I book off of auditions now is, I can't even tell, I, every couple of hundred things that I audition for, literally. It used to be every 10 or 15. In the last 10 to 15 years, it has changed because the market has been oversaturated with people that want to do voiceover. So it makes it harder. It does make it harder. And there's a lot of people out there that quite frankly have no business doing voiceover. They're, they're imitating, they're copying, and they really have no passion for it. But they have a microphone and they have a closet that they turned into a booth. And Again, I'm not trying to knock people, and I hope everybody understands that. It's just, you know, not everybody is trying to be Brad Pitt. Not everybody's trying to be uh, a musician uh, or a sports star. Or, you know, it's people that very specifically have a talent and an ability and that rises to the top. You can say, well, sure, there's lots of people that try sports and stuff and fail and all that. Yeah, but it never gets to the point that in voiceover, there's all sorts of people that consider themselves professional voice actors that aren't. You know, that do a job for 25, 50 bucks. I've seen people on Fiverr.com putting voiceover out there. You know, that's not a professional voice actor. Um, you don't have to be in the union to be a professional voice actor either. So don't get me wrong, because I know there's many of you that are working regularly. Just get a good rate. Be a professional. Be a professional about it. Know that it's a craft. Know that it's a passion. Know that it is an art form. It is acting. That's the. That was actually what this vlog was going to be about, was about acting. I kind of no longer want to call myself a voice actor. I want to call myself an actor. Because what's happened now, when you say voice actor, people only think that you use only your voice to act and it's not true I'm gonna go into a session today and I'm gonna leave there feeling the, the you know uh, the stress and the tension and all that throughout my entire body from acting using my hands using my face using my body using all those things to do all the various things that I'm gonna to have to do in this today and that is acting that's not just talking I think it's gotten confused now with talking. Everybody thinks voice acting is simply talking. It's called voice acting. There is acting to it. It's, you know, you can't, Hollywood can't have it both ways where they say, ah, it's just voice actors. It's just people just doing a voice and whatever. Yet then they use celebrities all the time. Why? Because they want the celebrities' voices. No, they want the celebrities' acting as well. They want that ability. They want that style. I know because I see it in all the audition specs. So it's a craft. I just, I just wish people would see it for the craft that it is. So when people ask me, what do you do? I'm an actor. Primarily, I do voice acting work. But I'm an actor. I'm a performer. I'm an entertainer. That's what I do. And all of you that are actors that choose to focus on voice acting work, you're actors, you're performers. Don't forget it, okay? That's really the point today, is don't let everybody just kind of water down this craft of voice acting and what you do and what you're learning and what you're passionate about, okay? Uh, I love voice acting, I do. I just want everybody to, to see it for what it really is. It is performing, it's telling a story. 
It's primarily using your voice, but you can't just use your voice without using all that you have. And uh, it's a great craft. I, I encourage many of you to pursue it if you have an ability and a love for it. I encourage many people that think they have a good voice and want to make a bunch of money to look for a different thing. It's, it's not, you know, maybe, maybe start a podcast where you can talk and do your voices, get a YouTube channel and do voices and things and, and use that as an outlet to show people what you can do. But watering down the marketplace of voice actors with people that really have no passion about it but just kind of want everybody to see that they can do a really good impression of this, that, or the other. That's, that's a totally different thing. And I, I just think that the waters have been muddied a little and we're, we're confusing things at times. So there you go. That's kind of my little rant here today. I thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check it all out. Check out the other videos and vlogs and uh, shows like Clone Wars Conversations and The Jat Show and Jat365 and all the various things here. If you don't know who I am, I'm James Arnold Taylor. I'm a voice actor. I make my living in doing voices. I'm an actor. I'm a performer. And uh, I thank you for taking the time to watch this. And go to jamesarnoldtaylor.com. If you want to know more about me and my story and you can also find the links there under the chat show thing to send me an email and make sure you choose a topic in there and send me comments and stuff or questions i thank you all for all of it and i hope you have a great one see ya